everybody, Robert Jones. How you doing? It is time for a little vlog. It is Tuesday morning, and I got a thousand things going on. I was going to do this video yesterday, but today is the day. Um, let's see, start out with, first of all, I want to say thank you. I'm sporting a little t-shirt action here. This is a gift from, how can you see? There we go. Uh, a gift from my friend Pekele, who brought this to me, and just want to show you guys the new t-shirt. Thanks, Pekele. Let's see, um, a lot going on this week. Tons and tons and tons, and good things. I am very excited. So first of all, I want to say that um, my YouTube page had reached 700 subscribers this week, and it's only because of you guys that were here. And I want to say a big thank you. So 700, thank you guys, and I am so excited. The more of you that jump on the bandwagon, the more time and effort I have to be able to do this to you, to you, for you, and I am very excited by that. So. Thanks, everybody, for becoming a subscriber. Grow me oh, oh. Last weekend, Rudolph and I went to go see Chromeo here at the Santa Barbara Bowl. It was a fantastic show. Show you a little bit of it here. What's up, California? Fantastic show. The Santa Barbara Bowl is such a great venue. You get to be there at sunset. There was a couple of opening acts. I'll show you guys some of that. I'm trying to remember their names. I'm so bad with it. Oh, the Glitch Mob was one of them. And somebody else. I'll show you guys some clips. Check it out. Last weekend, we went to the Strawberry Festival up in Arroyo Grande, which is about an hour and 15 minutes north of here. Okay, guys, we're here, as you can tell, with strawberries. We are at the festival. We just got here and taking a little peek around behind. There's lots of food going on. I'm gonna go all the way around. All right, and back to strawberries. Okay. We are here at the Strawberry Festival, Arroyo Grande. It is 2015, it is May, and we're gonna take a look around here and see what kind of goodies we can find. Of your strawberry, uh, strawberry, strawberry, get it? Pickle. Suck it. It's good as fuck. It's too wow. thick. Mm. It's strawberry. Is it good? It's good, yeah. Barbecue.
have to say, I'm a little disappointed in the festival. It's billed as a strawberry festival. We went last year, and there are barely any strawberries. And those that they do serve are served with something called Pastry Pride, which is this fake whipped cream stuff. And it, we used to use it a long time ago to for pies and cakes when I worked at Baskin Robbins when I was in high school. And it just tastes like plastic. I'm sorry, it's not whipped cream. And when I called them on it at the festival, somebody got pissed off at me. And I just said, it's not whipped cream. And he's like, yes, it is. And I said, does it come from a cow? Anyway, the festival, um, why don't they just call it a Royal Grande Days? Because it's basically like a lot of food and arts and crafts and stuff and barely any strawberries. So I think they should just rename it. I don't know why it's called Strawberry Festival. But on the other side of that, we had some friends, Mike and Vanessa, that we visited and went to a fabulous barbecue. We were there for like eight hours, had a great time, played some games. So it was a good time had by all. Thanks, you guys. I got some new videos coming. They are in the can. I need to get them edited, hopefully working on them today and tomorrow. Blackberry pie, peach pie, and a video about shiso chilies. So shishito, I can never say it right. I think it's shishito. Shishito chilies. They are a, a hot chili pepper, but sh on the Scoville units, there's almost no. I mean, if it's a... A 1 to 10 on the jalapeno, it's like a 1 or a 2. It's not at all. And I got a video for that. Oh, that was an email. So that's coming. Some um, videos for you guys. I also got some more reviews coming, so that's very exciting. Uh, lots of good stuff to bring. Also, this Friday, ALC comes through Santa Barbara. That's the AIDS life cycle. And they're going to be down helping to scoop. If you're a local person and you'd like to help scoop some ice cream for the riders, um, come on down to Ledbetter Beach. We're going to start assembling everything there, I believe, at 8 a.m. And it usually is done by 3 or 4. I mean, lock, stock, and barrel, back in the truck, everything. So... Come on down. That'll be fun. You can also see me. We can hang out. Who doesn't like that? Also this week, something exciting happened. I launched a new soap line, and I am so excited about this, you guys. Um, local producer here. I don't want to give any names because they don't really want to be in the video, but that's cool because it is local stuff. It is handmade. It is all natural, and the reviews I'm getting right now, the first product online is the shaving soap. Cut to picture. The stuff is amazing. It is really slippery soft. It may, even in the photo shoot when I was putting it on my face, it left my face really super soft. So it's nice soap. And I'm just saying, you can just shave here, you can shave under here, or you can shave the whole thing if that's your deal. It's not my deal. Unlike the trend of the New York uh, writer this week who kept saying that the trend was over, the beards are gone, mine's not going anywhere. It's been around for a long time. It's going to be around for a while more. I'm just saying. Do you guys remember that I had a contest going? Do you remember? Because I remember. And I have some fun t-shirts just to show you guys. Remember, these are my t-shirts. Your Everyday Santa with a little... Your Everyday Santa. I'm giving away one of these. And I'm also giving away some of these, several of these. These are the dish towels for your kitchen, or you're sweating at the gym, or other places I'm not talking about. So let's do a little drawing. So I just want to let you guys know, this is a jar. All of these are your names. Anybody who has put in a comment in the last month or so, I have put in the jar, and I will continue to put them in here. So let's put the lid on and give, I mean, there's, there's, can you guys hear that? There's lots and lots in there. So let's give this a little shake. Woo. All right, so let's do a drawing for um for a uh, uh, let's do a towel first. So let's reach in here and get one. The first towel goes to <laughs> this name always cracks me up. This person actually comments quite a lot, and their name on Google Plus is Bobby Dumars, D U M A R C E. So Bobby Dumass, you get a towel. Let me write that on here. That's on Google Plus Towel. I'll contact you and get an address so we can mail that out to you. And then let's pick another one. Keep commenting. I love it when you guys comment. I love to comment back, see what you guys are thinking. Let's see. Number two. Matthew Reese. Matthew Reese. 
You are going to get a towel as well. I will contact you. And let's see, for the grand prize right now, keep King Tom commenting. Let's really get it shaken up. Let's get that shake. Okay, and for a t-shirt today, let's pick one. Today's t-shirt goes to Mask22, M-A-S-Q-U-E-22, Mask22. So I will give in contact with these people. Let me write this on here. Okay, uh, there's a go. Keep commenting. Keep the contest going for a while. I hope you guys are having a great week. I'd love to hear out what's going on in your world, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.